endometriosis it is a condition where pieces of the endometrium grow outside the uterus most common places are ovaries fallopian tubes bowel bladder rarely to lungs skin and other regions this tissue continues to respond to hormonal signal specifically estrogen from the ovaries each month which stimulate it to grow and when the estrogen level drops the tissue bleeds after which an inflammatory process and adhesions occur with each period we expect blood to collect and form a chocolate cyst of the ovary. This disease affects 10 to 15 percent of premenopausal women, and it's a common cause of pelvic pain and infertility. About 35 to 50 percent of women with this disease have difficulty in getting pregnant due to adhesions, altered prolactin release, hostile maturation defects, and ovulation. Symptoms of endometriosis Painful menstrual cycles Dyspareunia Menorrhagia Pelvic pain and backache Dyscasia and rectal bleeding in cases of colonic endometriosis Nausea and vomiting and abdominal cramps in endometriosis of the small intestine Hematuria and frequency in endometriosis of the renal bladder What are the causes of endometriosis? Causes of this disease are still unknown. Some researchers believe endometriosis is due to an immune system problem or hormonal imbalance. Others believe endometriosis is a genetic condition. Studies found an increased risk 5 to 7 percent in women with family history of this disease. Endometriosis Stages of endometriosis We have four stages for this disease. Number one, microscopic endometriosis. In this stage, the peritoneum appears normal microscopically and lesions are identified using electron microscope. The endometrial deposits contain endometrial gland and stroma. 2. Early active endometriosis. It appears as vesicles, papules, may be solid or fluid filled and highly vascular and non fibrotic containing glands in the proliferative or secretory phase. Number 3. Advanced active endometriosis. Presence as pigment pigmented hemorrhagic and fibrotic endometriotic spots known as classic lesions. Number four, healed endometriosis and it appears as white nodules or a flattened fibrotic scar containing glands only. Risk factors for endometriosis Japanese race Family history, age between 30 to 44 years, alcohol, caffeine intake, increased peripheral fat. Prevention of endometriosis. There is no known way to prevent this disease. Some believe women having more than one child and having children early in life develop a certain level of protection against the disease. It's also believed that women with a long-term use of birth control pills are less likely to develop endometriosis. Have a healthy diet. Treatment of endometriosis. Medical treatment of endometriosis. Number one, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. Drugs such as ibuprofen are helpful in reducing the severity of dysmenorrhea. 
Number two, combined oral contraceptive pills. Three packs of pills taken continuously are helpful in decreasing the number and frequency of the menstrual cycles, thus causing atrophy of the endometriotic spots. Number three, progesterone. Such as progesterone, given continuously, will produce pseudodesidualization in endometriotic lesions, but has the side effects of weight gain and breakthrough bleeding along with the mood swings. Number 4. Danazol. This drug has androgenic effect and is given in the dose 400 to 800 mg daily for 3 to 6 months, but it has the side effects of acne, weight gain, and hirsutism. Number 5. Rain RH agonists. Presence as nasal spray, subcutaneous, or intramuscular injection. These drugs cause downregulation of pituitary function which suppress ovarian steroid produ production and induce pseudomenopause. Their side effects include hot flushes, atrophic vaginitis, and bone pain, unless they are given with hormone replacement therapy as add-back therapy. Studies found that GnRH agonists given for endometriosis patients undergoing IVF cycles improve significantly their fertility and decrease preclinical abortion. Surgical treatment of endometriosis Endometriosis surgery is more effective in treating severe cases than a mild or minimal disease. Number 1. Conservative surgery Done with laparoscopy is a diagnostic as well as therapeutic procedure used to remove endometriotic lesions by laser or diathermy and adhesolysis. This type of treatment reduces the need for open surgery in young women who seek future pregnancy. Number 2. Radical surgery. This is reserved for cases with severe symptoms and progressive disease or women who have completed their families. Such procedures include hysterectomy and bilateral salpingo-oophorectomy. Nearly 12% of all endometriosis patients require radical surgery. Endometriosis and Assisted Reproduction Techniques Studies have shown that pretreatment with LHRH analogs are associated with better fertilization and implantation results, especially in severe forms. Higher IVF pregnancy rates are found when there is a 6 month pretreatment using LHRH analogs and their effects seem to be more important for ovarian than endometrial level. In cases of mild and moderate endometriosis with normal finding at salpingoscopy, GIFT can be a useful option. But some studies have noted that the results are less encouraging after GIFT than after IVF or ICSI. In endometriosis, there is a risk of spontaneous abortion. Abortion rates are 11.7% in mild endometriosis and 13.6% in moderate forms of the disease, regardless of the stimulation protocol used. Abortion rates of 60% in severe endometriosis cases were noted when there was no pretreatment using LHRH agonists. Endometriosis in menopause Postmenopausal endometriosis is one of the most unusual facets of endometriosis. It's found in 5% menopausal women, more often in the years immediately following the menopause. Clinical presentations Metoragia If you find the enlarged uterus, which may be fixed, it raises the suspicion of endometrial cancer Pelvic mass. Causes of endometriosis in menopause. Active endometriosis. It indicates that estrogens are still being produced in the body, 
or are supplied exogenously as in cases of women on hormone replacement therapy, patients taking tamoxifen, obese women in whom peripheral androgens are converted to estrogens, secretory ovarian tumors. Hormone independent. Endometriotic lesions in which the receptor level is much lower in the lesion than in the endometrium are not influenced by hormonal variation at the endometrium, so it gives rise to severe and extensive clinical forms requiring hysterectomy with castration along with cyclic progesterone for 6 months then estrogen progesterone cyclic therapy. This is Dr. Rula Al-Hamid, gynecologist and obstetrician and IVF specialist in Dr. Najib Layous Center.